Scorpio, you welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is going to be a general love read for the sign of Scorpio. It will not resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Scorpio placement, there may be messages in the reading for you. Personal reading information is linked and listed in the description box. Any jewelry, cups, whatever, blanket scene, that's also linked and listed. We'll pull oracles at the end and give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Scorpio, let's jump into it. Whoever is on Scorpio's mind, love and romance energy is coming towards Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Guidance for Scorpio, whoever is on their mind, love and romance energy is coming towards them. What do they need to know? Messages for their greatest and highest good. What do we have for Scorpio? I do only take jumpers, so the patience is appreciated. First card out is the Two of Swords. Next card is the Queen of Wands, Fire Sign Energy. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius could be important. Looks like we're going from the closed sign to the open sign. From closed to open, or you could be dealing with someone that is not open. Or any sort of lovey anything. But you're on fire, though. You could be definitely coming in as this Queen of Wands. You know where you fit. But you are on fire. You're not even... Eh. It's like, okay. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Looking the complete opposite way. Ten of Cups. That's what you're looking at, the Ten of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're dealing with someone that is not... Mm -mm, mm -mm. They're not home. <laughs> They're not home. They're checked out. Four of, four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Someone that is not open emotionally. They don't want to deal with love. They don't want to see love. They don't want to give time to love. They don't want to give... They don't even want to dream about love, okay? <laughs> this is the four, of, the four of Pentacles is my Grinch card. So they, they ain't with it. They ain't about it. And I think you've realized that. Or if you're not, you haven't yet, you're about to. You're about to see that this person is just not where you're at. You're, you're very much focused on this Ten of Cups. Long-term emotional fulfillment with somebody. You know? You're on fire, though. Queen of Swords, yeah. See how you're just turning your back to this Four of Pentacles guy? Yeah. He's out of there. He or she does not matter. You're not giving it any time, though. Very much in feminine energy, whether you're a masculine or a feminine. That means you're not giving a shit. You're not giving, I'm not giving. Simple as that. Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. So you have two fours here. Four, four. You are being protected. You are being watched over. This is uh, sort of like rejection is protection energy with the two fours here. You're good either way. You're stable either way. Divine has your back either way. Because it does look like whoever this is representing for you, it might be affecting you a bit. Two of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. This is like, do not enter. Enter at your own risk. Energetically, you probably don't want to deal with this, this type of person. So if you weren't sure what was going on, this is what's going on. They're not with it. They're not open. They're not there yet. Okay. Very much not, you know, just, just, <laughs> but I think, I think you're getting it. I think you're got it or you're about to get it. Present position as the queen of wands and the queen of swords. Yeah. You, you get the memo, you know, you get the memo. Queen of wands is very passionate, exciting, you know, a force to be, to be reckoned with sort of energy, whether you're male or female, this is just you not taking any action. Allowing what is for you to come to you. No chasing thing. You know you're worth it. You're intuitive. You're you're following your intuition. If someone else doesn't want to, you are. And you're making executive decisions. The Queen of Swords, she's the the you know the, the executive decision maker. As quick as you say it, she she'll she'll cut you. Off with his heads type of vibes, right? So there could be a conversation that needs to happen, has happened. But it's very clear that you are turning your back to somebody. The Queen of Wands is even looking over here. The Queen of Swords back completely turned. Some of you might be focusing on work now. Until whatever this, until this Ten of Cups energy presents itself in your life, you're going to be focused on work. Also could be saying that you are willing to work for, for this Ten of Cups. You're not, you're not going to settle. See how you're at the eight and this person's at the four. They're not even, you know... They don't want to put in the work. 
The Four of Cups, the Four of Pentacles is the complete opposite of the, the Eight of Pentacles. You know, this is like scared money don't make no money. That Four of Pentacles. Don't want to invest. So, you know, there's only so much return you can get. Whereas the Eight of Pentacles, you know, if, 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 it's a, if it sounds, if you've done all the math and it sounds right, you'll invest high because, you know, your return will be high. This person is not wanting to invest. They don't want to, they're not, they're not vulnerable. They don't want to open up. They're not ready to be in an emotional state. They're very logical and practical minded at this time. You're, you're, you're a passionate person. You have passion to give. You want to, you know, be happy with somebody for a while and build. But wherever it is that you were trying to get it from is not the place. This eight of, this nine of swords here, kind of giving me the vibe like, you know, during the day you're fine, but it's at nighttime is when you really feel the loneliness, right? Some of you, you know, you have your careers, you have your jobs, you have your, you're in certain positions. You're very, you're very, you can compartmentalize it. You know, you're up for yoga, you're up at the office. No one would know a thing, but at nighttime, that's when the bed feel. That's when the coldness of the bed hits you. What's underneath here? Four of Cups. Yeah, looks like somebody might be regretting this approach, though. Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Absolutely, someone could be. Yeah, you know, realizing. <laughs> That you are no longer looking in their direction. They're not going to find you in the same place that, you know, they left you. You won't be there. You'll be gone. But this person is very lonely. I'll say that much because everything on that side is just lonely. Not like, even if, even if they're not lonely, they perceive themselves as lonely, which is lack mentality. Lack mentality, four of cups is missed opportunity. Not seeing something when it was right in front of you because you were too focused elsewhere. Not you, but you know, you know what I mean? But we have the sun card here. So you're looking on the up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ooh. -hoo. And somebody to match you. Look at that. King of Wands to your Queen of Wands. That's beautiful energy. Look at this. So the memo is keep looking forward because it's whatever is for you is not in your past. It's in front of you. And, and I think you get it. I think you understand and by not settling and willing to work and willing to, you know, continue to wait for what it is you want. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at this beautiful little energy here. Just a little happy sandwich. Sandwich of happiness. You will meet your match. You will meet someone that is worth taking a leap for. You will meet someone that can add, you know to your happiness or has the same vision as you, has, wants the same things, is willing to also invest to get the payout. But it might be too late for someone else though. Let's get the oracles. Might be too late for someone else. What do we have for squirt though? The beautiful energy, Look at looking towards all this beautifulness, this good stuff, true life. This is the romance of a lifetime. I'd say so. <laughs> I'd say so. King and Queen of Wands, Fool, Ten of Cups, and the Sun card. And the Eight of Pentacles, which I think that both of you share. Because King of Wands, he's a worker. He knows how to get it done. Male or female, does not matter. But true love. Okay. What's at the bottom? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So don't you dare settle. Don't you? Don't you dare settle. Okay? Take read between the lines with whatever it is you're dealing with because you're right. Queen of Wands is very intuitive. And 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 make your decisions accordingly. Make executive decisions because it's gonna end up blocking what is coming in for you. And that looks way better than what's going on over here. Scorpio. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. One card for Scorpio, please. Okay, thank you. Have faith in your dreams. Yes, this is a reminder. If you are getting tired, keep waiting. Because the, the amount of waiting that's invested is almost equal to the payoff. Kind of the vibe of like paying into the spiritual. You know what I mean? The more you can prove to the divine that you are willing to wait for what is yours or what you believe you're worth, it's like, 
you know, some sort of, it's like Bitcoin at the beginning of Bitcoin for those that it worked for or whatever, you know, you know, I don't know the techie stuff, but like Facebook, it's like the people that chose to stay with Mark in the little garage and believed in his journey. They're laughing now, ain't they? And all the people that laughed at him and said, Mark, that's never going to work. Now they know it worked. Have faith in your dreams. Is that it? Is that all? Animal Oracle. Very much giving that type of vibe. Because I think I think the original story goes, he actually, you know, asked a lot of the kids on campus to, 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 to be a part of whatever the Facebook building was. And only a few could see the vision. Only a few. Right? And I bet they all wish they saw the vision now, don't they? So that's that. That's that. One card for Scorpio. This person here is the is, are the people that didn't want to believe in Mark. The Mark non-believers. <laughs> if you don't know who Mark is, Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. But y'all are smart. Y'all know who Mark is. One card for Scorpio. Ooh, too many. I'll take the first top one here. Let it shine, number 46. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Yeah, that's a ten. Two tens here. It's, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost at the end. You're almost at the, at the finish line. But this is saying, do not stop being your authentic self. You know, Peacock is very uh, flamboyant. It's kind of hard to not see them. Kind of like the Queen and King of Wands. You know, they look all calm and collected, but once they flip that tail out, mm -hmm, it's time to flip your tail out. Okay, Scorpio, that is your reading. Really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.